Greetings, Hulu. I'm Andre, and I'm George, and welcome back to the Windmill Full of Corpses and Paybacks a Beach. Always. Okay, so. 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 Remember when we did that first Bottom After Midnight video? That was actually the third ever video we uploaded, and it took off. Four. Whatever, never mind. It was the fourth video we ever uploaded, and it completely took off, and it's our most viewed video to date. So that, well, to, to the date of viewing this, uh, of filming this, yes. not publishing it. So what was the title of that song? Paint the Sky with Blood. Okay. So now we're going to get back into that project. So this is the last thing that master genius Alexei Laiho from Children of Bodom did before his passing. It's kind of bittersweet, but from what I get, it's also epic. I think Bottom After Midnight just dropped an EP, not a full album. Yeah, I think it's three songs. I think it's one more after this one. So maybe we'll do all of that, but we'll see. Yeah. So this was a request from Ghost Recon 111. Well, actually, he pointed it out on the whole EP. Mm -hmm. But for now, we're going to be doing this one, Payback's a Bitch, and let's see how it lands. Took a while for us to do more bottom, but we couldn't... We couldn't ignore your suggestions. We have some more suggestions from bottom stuff, also from children on bottom, so... We'll probably be doing more. They happens when they happen. Yeah. <laughs> like when you have when you have a reaction channel and the suggestions pile up like mad. That's all you can say. So yeah. You ready? Yes! Oh! <laughs> Good! <laughs> it's not ready for a while! <laughs> He's never gonna let me pause. <sighs> this is just about as high octane as the other one, and I would say this song has I, what I would call melodic chugs. Yeah, I, I was actually thinking melody and riff flow into one in this song. Yeah, it's like there's no there's no border between them, and it's actually because he's got the riff is basically like that. It's got the chugs and then it flows into a half muted lead and drops back on the chug and so on, and they just fuse into each other. It's so cool. I love what that drummer is doing. Those pedals are driving like mad. It's the energy is insane, and there's just an attitude in this dude's voice. It's like you can feel the spite, but at the same time, it's it's also super fun. Yeah, it's like spiteful fun. Yeah, <laughs> I I don't remember in what context um, someone was telling us in the comments that I think they had a merch design 
that said on the back, let's fucking die. So it's that it's it's kind of obvious that children of bleh, children of Bodom thrives on hate. But they do it with style. And I gotta I gotta say it's somewhat hilarious to see Payback's a bitch official visualizer. It's <laughs> like the contrast between those two of attitude is so off the charts. So this song is super octane. I, I super high octane. I, I like what we're hearing so far. Let's see what happens next. Oh dear. Okay, that was awesome. That duo solo was pretty intense. Yeah! Oh dear mama. Okay, so crazy solo. Crazy solos. Yeah, on the... Actually, guitar. at some point couldn't tell which one was the guitar and which one was the I keyboard. It was just more. guitar, then keyboard, then guitar again. Probably. Uh, okay, so this guy's a complete shred maniac and he's got a really unique style of playing. Like, it's really... Charismatic. Yeah, it, it's not it's not the kind of fast playing that's just technical. It's super charismatic. It's got a lot of flair, a lot of I think some bending, some Y in there was doing some really cool effects. Yeah, kind of nimble sounding too. Yeah, like the whole song is it's heavy, but it's not. It doesn't have like a lot of bands when they want to get aggressive, they punch in a lot of heft, mm -hmm. and this still feels light enough to be really agile and jump all over the place. Yeah, yeah. so. It's got a really cool energy and a really cool pace. Um, I love what they've been doing with the keyboards, not only on the solo. The solo was great, but I think throughout the second verse and also after the solo, we've got some really cool keyboard parts that had a really strong frost type vibe to mm -hmm. me. Yeah. And I guess all through the song, what I really like is that despite it being really groovy and catchy and engaging and ear warmy mm -hmm. for the most part, you get these transitions and stops and fills in there that tear through the rhythm mm -hmm. and the flow and I, I would dare use the word progressive to describe that. Hmm. Like it, it rips the rhythm quite a lot and pretty cleverly. So I, I really like what they do with this song. I think I think I liked it better than the previous one. Huh. And I like the attitude as well. <laughs> well, I mean, everyone who's ever been angry at their boss can relate to bottom. <laughs> or angry at anyone for that matter. So, is the yeah. best style of angry. Well, I think you've said pretty much everything that could be said, other than they had gang shouts. So, yeah. which by the way, people were telling us in the comments, uh, I said in the last reaction that uh, I didn't hear any gang shouts in Children of Bodom, and maybe that's something you did Bodom after midnight, and people were like, no, no, you don't know what you're saying. They had gang shouts all along. It's a pattern, so, excuse me. Yeah. So, um, if you enjoyed our reaction, we greatly appreciate the likes and shares, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe with bells on. Thank you very much for stopping by, we hope you enjoyed your stay, and we'd love to see you back at the windmill very soon. Corpse is out.